pump mix and our 100% solid uh, solvent based epoxy. Right? So it's a good idea to mix it into your resin side and let it wet out for an hour, two hours, or even overnight before you start your job. You mix it in and just let it sit. If, if you put it in and then you try to do it right away, you get little pools, little dry powder streaks in it. So it, it's a good idea to let it wet out. So we pour it in, we mix it in with our resin side, we mix it for a couple minutes and then we add our cure and mix that for three minutes. It's a very fine particle, as you'll notice, it's going to take as long to mix in that solid primer, which is better penetration than that 100% solid epoxy. It is semi-transparent when you add that metal effect. We have some questions about the lines here. For those of you not familiar with hardy board, this is hardy board. When they run these sheets of hardy board through their factory, they put a primer on one side. We've got the blue that we just mixed over over here. We're going to put this on a larger pad to show you that the typical one color application is going to be the same color epoxy coat over you know that that matching color primer. Okay, the reason there is just to add more depth to it. Um, in case you do get a little bit thin, you've got kind of that backup of that primer being the, the tinted the same color. So we're going to put that down over. This is how it starts. Someone else can do it? You can do it with it. You can do it too. 
Okay. Let me try. Let me try. Oh, right. here we go. You can just do you know, like this. Oh. Yeah. Let's give him a little more of that. Oh, you're fire. Yeah. Right now, here you go. Here you go. <laughs> Are you going to do that one? Don't change it when a sales guy goes through the door. Yeah, you're going to do that. Yeah. You're going to wait. That's the last one. Yeah, that's the last one. That's the last one. I love that. That thing's not the, magic. They turn the magic <laughs> on. You can mix colors together, too. You can mix the, the blue and the burgundy and the purple. The only thing we'll ask is anybody that's helping or getting close, please watch the wet epoxy that's on the plastic because that will track all over the rest of our showroom. <laughs> and we'll come off. Achieve the same effect with ethanol. With what? Ethanol. Blasphemy! Couple squirts in the mouth. That's where you're going. Couple squirts in the mouth. That's where you're going. Scotch. This is just a single color, right? Application. Pretty slick. So now if we introduce another color to it, which is actually a blend of a couple colors. And you want to do it while this is still wet, too. Yeah. Right? You got to do it within that, you know, that forty-minute window of, of each product. And you're and you're in your spiked shoes, yeah. right. Anthony. On, on one side, if we can, or one third of that, if we could do almost a full layer of red over the blue, and then I'd like to hit it with the uh, leaf blower. With the leaf blower, see what we get. Yeah, yeah, and that's 
course, he hit it with the alcohol. You see the little oh, spritz marks? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but, you know, get off the Perfect. Are we looking for it? Yep. Where's the leaf blower? It's all over here. Let it sit a minute or two, maybe, before we hit it with the leaf blower. The rest of the time. No, why not? Another guy in cleats to hold the pour. <laughs> you can get a battery powered one. <laughs> Be real smart about it. Make your life easier. For gas power. Or gas. Hey, careful of the fumes inside. Well, There's a lot of drips here so on the floor. A bit of blue. Okay. You have to watch your shoes. No, watch, yeah, don't step. Yeah. Wash, wash your shoes off before you step on that. That's alcohol, so just. Kind of spread them real good. That'll get anything off the bottom, so we don't get on the rest of the floor. Now look what this one's doing. Not that, you know, I guess be careful stepping in the epoxy, but right. after we did our drizzle and yeah, trowel it and then so spritz good. it, I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's that easy. It's <laughs> Not really good for interiors because it's it's too textured. It's going to rip up a mop. But you do something like this, and yeah, you get an awesome look. <laughs> what color epoxy was this? Um, I think this. Yeah, I think this was gold or no, this was copper. Yeah, the gold. Over, was over what color on the? Uh, I think brick red with white grout lines, but it didn't really matter because it covers most of it. You like that one? The longer you let it sit before you do that, like like Tim with the spritzinger here, uh, the less chance, the, the, the more set it gets, the less chance it has to really move around a lot. Yeah? You're good color combo? That is tough. job you can put you can mix three or four gallons at a time in, in a five gallon bucket or, or we can make three gallon pigment exist Uh, come back the next morning and see if it has moisture underneath it. 
uh, but there, uh, a primer isn't necessary with this, with this epoxy. One coat, two coats? We're, we're doing one coat. One coat. You know, if, you're, if the floor's beat up... Say, say you're doing a garage floor. Well, that depends on how old the garage floor is, how it was finished. Um, but if you have an old, beat-up floor and it's really porous, you, you can put a thicker coat on first and then come back the next day and put another coat on to try to, to, try to smooth it out a little bit. Right. You want to put the, you want to put this down between around 80 mils, which is a little over 150 square feet uh, gallon. You want it thin so when you throw your chips and your quartz, it doesn't encapsulate them to make it lumpy. You, you just want enough there to hold them, to hold the chips in the quartz. What's the material that makes this? You know, everybody buys from different places. They buy from distributors. So it, it varies, right? What do you charge a square foot? Well, Florida, and you got to remember, Florida is different than everywhere else too, right? Here in our area, most guys, most guys get around three bucks. In Jacksonville, there was a, a lady getting eight bucks a square foot. Um, she was getting a killing. Um, that's not a good idea because uh, epoxy isn't UV stable. Epoxy is the same stuff they used to put that Chattahoochee stone in and mix it up. You know, a 50 pound bag, a gallon of pure epoxy, they they slick up their trowels with xylene and trowel it out. Remember that? And then after a couple of years, they the amber and start popping off. Well, that's what happens to epoxy outside. Right? right, because the chips will uh, will protect the epoxy. Now, you can throw chips in, di in different ways. You can throw it a 30% coverage. You can throw it 50% coverage. You can throw it 100% coverage. 100% coverage, uh, 8 to 10 pounds does about 100 square feet. Some guys just throw it straight up in the air. Some guys use seed dispensers to, to put it out. This is, this is uh, you see this a lot in uh, bathrooms. You see it a lot in barber shops. That's what we're gonna show on this one. Yeah, it, it's quartz, it's colored quartz sand, right? Which is really, the, What's that? This one is for one of This is called chips, vinyl chips. Those are vinyl? Yep. Yeah. The the quartz that we're gonna show in a minute is really good. It gets used a lot in commercial kitchens. Yeah. When you when you put when you throw the quartz, your top coat you want it to be an epoxy. Uh, a, a clear or a colored epoxy depends on what they're asking for, but Usually it's uh, using a urethane as a top coat, too aggressive. On this one you can use either a, a top coat. You're putting this into refusal. Wow, nice color. Blue is the color of the week. It is? Did you say put this into refusal? Yes. That's what my wife said. Oh yeah? How long? How many years? 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 How many yeah, he sent his wife home because he didn't want her here in any shenanigans. While, while we were we while we were bad enough as it is, while we were waiting for him to do that, Donald Duck finally hooked up with Daisy Duck, and they got a hotel room, and they're on like the 10th floor, and she's in the bathroom freshening up, and he's in bed waiting for her to come out. And she comes out of the bathroom, and she goes, Donald, do you have protection? And he goes, oh, rat, wait here, I'll be right back. And he goes down to the front desk, and he goes, do you have protection? They said, yeah, we sell them by the case or we sell them singly. I just need one. They said, would you like us to put it on your bill? I said, hell no, I'll sell it. I'm for that. 25 times now, 25 
Not yeah. many different colors. For this. Yeah. Of course, yeah. Yeah. product. We've got uh, six or seven. About six or seven kind of standard order colors. But that day, we're going to pull that tape and masking up before that epoxy completely cures. We do the same thing on the other side with a different color or a different application, and really take a I don't want to say a bland look, but a a nominal look here with a single color and really uh, add some design elements to it. These are more for these applications are more for functional spaces, right? A little more uh, heavier traffic, utility spaces, kitchens, all that. So just a veterinary clinic in there can can add a lot to it. So it's not so big. We use shed resistant rollers, but Al has one wrapped in tape anyway, just to get off any extra loose hair. Like I said before, th this gets used a lot in commercial kitchens. <laughs> See how the quartz is sucking that up? On this one, you could put it out a little bit thicker. Yeah, right. 